Hi, this is Toby Topley with Presonus, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your new quantum interface. Let's start by registering your quantum. This will ensure access to essential software updates and upgrades for your interface. Simply go to My Presonus and create or log in to your user account. At the top of your My Presonus homepage, click on the Register Products button. Then supply the date you purchased the interface along with the serial number and click Register. Now that you've registered your Quantum, it's time to download and install Universal Control. Go back to the My Presonus homepage and navigate to the Quantum product page. If you're using Mac OS, the Universal Control installer will take you through each step of the installation process, like installing our high-performance audio driver and any necessary firmware updates. When the installation is complete, you'll find the Universal Control application in your Applications folder. If you're using Windows, the Universal Control installer will walk you through each step of the process and install the necessary ASIO drivers. Please remember to read each message carefully and to quit all applications before you start the installation. After you've installed Universal Control and the required audio drivers, you're ready to power up your new interface. Start by placing your Quantum on an even surface that allows airflow and provides enough space for the input and output cabling. Then, plug one end of the provided USB-C cable into your Quantum ES and plug the other end of the cable into your computer. Lastly, turn your Quantum on by pressing the power switch on the back panel. You will automatically be prompted if your Quantum interface needs its firmware updated. Plug one end of the provided USB-C cable into your Quantum HD and plug the other end of the cable into your computer. Then, connect the provided IEC cable or AC adapter from the power outlet to your Quantum HD. To protect your hearing, lower the volume on your monitors and remove your headphones. Turn your Quantum on by pressing the power switch located on the front panel of the HD8 and the back panel of the HD2. Now that your Quantum is powered on, let's hook up your guitars, microphones, and speakers so you can start recording. In this first section, we'll focus on the Quantum ES series interfaces. Your Quantum ES audio interface is equipped with guitar inputs co-developed by Fender. The ES2 features a single guitar input, while the ES4 has two. To record guitar or bass, simply plug one end of the quarter-inch instrument cable into the guitar input on your Quantum ES and plug the other end into your guitar. To use the headphone output, connect your stereo headphones to the quarter-inch TRS jack. To record vocals, plug a mic cable into the Max HD mic line-in input on the back panel of your Quantum ES and plug the other end into your microphone. Please note that some microphones require phantom power. To connect to your studio monitors, use the main quarter-inch ports on the back panel. Please note, some computers and mobile devices don't provide enough electricity to power external devices. If the USB logo is blinking red, you'll need to use the auxiliary power port as well. Please refer to your owner's manual for more information. In this next section, we'll focus on the Quantum HD series interfaces. Your Quantum HD audio interface is equipped with two quarter-inch guitar inputs co-developed by Fender. It also features two dedicated reamp outputs that you can use to send a dry, pre-recorded guitar signal out to an external amplifier for further processing and recording. Please refer to the owner's manual for additional information on this feature. The HD8 has two headphone outputs, while the HD2 has one. Connect stereo headphones to either using a quarter-inch TRS stereo jack. On the back panel, the Quantum HD8 includes eight TRS line outputs on quarter-inch jacks, while the HD2 includes two. Use main one and two to connect to your primary set of studio monitors. Outputs three and four can be used for additional monitors to A-B sounds, or can be used to send audio to outboard effects processors. To record vocals, plug a mic cable into the Max HD mic line-in input on the back panel of your Quantum HD, and plug the other end into your microphone. Again, some microphones will require phantom power. Now that everything is plugged in, let's use the knob on your Quantum to turn up your speakers. You can also use universal control to remotely adjust the volume of your speakers and headphones. And if you're not familiar with how to set gain levels for your microphone or guitar, don't worry, Quantum does it for you. Simply select the channel for your microphone or guitar. Press the auto button and the Quantum will start listening. This is your cue to sing or play something so that Quantum can dial in the perfect level for your instrument or voice. After 10 seconds, the knob cap will blink green three times. Then the knob and ring will turn white again to indicate the new gain position. 
If auto gain can't determine the best level, the knob cap will blink red three times and the knob will return to the last known gain level position. And that's it. I hope this tutorial gets you up and running in no time. Until next time, I'm Toby Tomplay with Presonus. Thanks and have a great day.